Um, now I just want to say I think Julia Budd like really deserves credit for like saving this card because you had to, you know, uh, train for so many different opponents. So I don't know, just want to say that. Okay. I'll wait for the champ. The champ is here, everybody. The champ is here. <laughs> Well, since since uh, since Miss Watterson is in the building right now, um, my question to you is um, that that arm bar in that third round, how deep was it, and um, you know, how is your arm feeling right now? My arm's fine. Um, I guess I didn't realize how deep it was until everybody started talking about it. In my head, I was just like, you can turn, just wait, just wait for the right moment, just turn, turn, turn. So I keep telling everybody it's my face that hurts from the third round. <laughs> Yeah, that was an amazing, amazing thing because a lot of people didn't think that you had a lot of great grappling ability, and it just was unbelievable to see you and, and, and Jessica just um, go at it in a really tough back and forth uh, grappling battle, as it were. Um, tell us a little bit about training for this fight and how your grappling over Jackson's uh, kind of went uh, went plan during this fight. You know, I have um, I have a great team at Jackson's that um, have been helping me get ready for this. Um, I also started going over to Gracie Baja, and they've been helping me a lot with my with my grappling. And um, for um, us, it was a lot of focusing on pressure and um, not letting her use her good legs and flexibility, and just trying to um, shut that game down before she's able to capitalize. Okay, then my next question is for Julia. Um, obviously, now you got to be looking at the uh, match between Cyborg and. Marlouse and thinking of yourself about a title shot. Um, how, how far do you think you're out for that? Um, do you think you're going to take one more fight before that happens, or are you going to wait and see what happens at the fight next time? Uh, yeah, I think that I, well, I hope I'm fighting on the July card, and then I hope to fight the winner at the end of the year. Um, that all goes accordingly. Any sort of people that person that you want to fight next at all, Julia? Um, no, I haven't even, I haven't really thought about it, but hopefully somebody that's in the top 10, close to the top as well, and, you know, yeah. And my last question is for Lauren. Um, first of all, you know, how does it, it be to be able to fight in Invicta 135? You just, just turned 135 this past month, and how was the turnaround, and what was it like to fight here uh, in, at Invicta? Uh, Invicta's been amazing, and it's been a really awesome experience to be here and fight for them. And uh, I agree with Shannon that completely that all the athletes here tonight put on an awesome, awesome show. And it's just been really sweet to, um, you know, see other women fight that I've looked up to since I started my MMA career, and uh, be able to meet them and talk to them and uh, watch all the hard work that everybody's put into this show come to fruition. Any, any possibility you're going to be trying out for the Ultimate Fighter? Um, it's crossed my mind. <laughs> I haven't completely decided one way or the other yet. I really <clears throat> miss my family. I really want to come and see my family. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shannon Tito Ortiz. Um, I was wondering the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I'm right here. Mine is light. Um, as uh, UFC, of course, uh, when champions lose their title, they usually get a rematch. Was there a possibility of uh, seeing a rematch with uh, Jessica versus uh, Andrade? Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, of course there's going to be a rematch. Um, I think that we're going to have uh, Michelle go back in and do her thing again against someone else, and then Jessica another fight and see where we're at from there. Cool. Thank you. Are you her manager? <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, to piggyback off what Tito just said, um, since you're going to be getting Michelle another fight at 105, are you considering either Alex Chambers or Simona Superpova, who both look very good tonight? Yeah, I think that uh, we just got finished with this one, so maybe a little time to see exactly who's in the spot. And of course, I'll the matchmaker, Janet Hart. And we'll see what we come up with. But 
there's a lot of good matchups in that weight division. That's a weight division that uh, has needed attention for a really long time. And uh, we found that we have a lot of talented athletes in that weight division. <coughs> but it'll be good, I promise. So do I do can't be that. <laughs> um, is there any update on uh, some of the fighters who are injured who had to drop off this card? You think um, like Nick DeLee and uh, Eddie Ann Gomes and Veronica Rothenhausler, do you think they'll be fighting in July? I think it's possible. I mean, their injuries were not uh, this severe. They keep them out for an extended amount of time. So. Yeah, it's Michelle, could you talk to us a little about the transition that you've made going from reality television to now being a champion in Invicta? Um, well, um, are you talking about the reality like the fight girls? Or, well, it could be Bully Beatdown, too, oh. but yeah, I meant Fight Girls. Uh, well, Fight Girls Bully Beatdown, that's just lots of fun, you know? Um, but you really can't compare that to an actual fight in the ring, going against somebody, you know, that's, you know, in their own training camp, in their own element, and um, training to take your head off just as much as you're training to take their head off. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be, like, a Power Ranger, and I feel like, I, <laughs> I feel like now I'm, like, a real-life, Power Ranger, like, I think this is funner than being a Power Ranger, you know, I get to be a fighter and I get to put my heart out there and, and show the world, so, it's awesome. Cool, and uh, we've already heard the idea broached that you having a rematch, uh, is that something you want to take or do you want some other contenders first? Um, you know what, like Chen said, it's really up to her, um, the fight was definitely back and forth, and I'm kind of still speechless um, as, as to how it all, you know, went down, I thought, um, we had an amazing fight, and um, I still is I still can't reflect on it yet. So I, I'd love to like, go back and, and watch the fight tape and see the back and forth because I, everything is still kind of like in a blur to me right now. So thank you. Jeremy Johnson, that MMA show. This uh, is for Michelle. Um, you were very emotional after your win. Um, talk us through what the emotion was about. Um, because I felt like... Um, Other than I, you were a Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just I felt like I was a huge underdog, you know, and I really had to, um, you know, that song, don't believe the hype. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like, could not, I couldn't, do, I, I was just really emotional because I believed in myself. and. Um, I was able to come through, so yeah, that's why. It's <laughs> Any other questions? <clears throat> Evening, everybody. Uh, Rex from KC. <coughs> Shannon, you uh, said that uh, Miriam Nakamoto scored KO of the night. Uh, it's probably going to be controversial since there's no small amount of opinion that the knockout blow was actually illegal. Uh, can you speak to that one? Well, the first one that when she went down, of course I'll rewatch it, but at this point in time, I mean, the first one when she hit her and she crumbled down, that we'll consider, that was a, you know, that was a little thing, so. For sure. Second one, you know, I want to look at it again, but it still doesn't erase the fact that when she needed the first time, her legs buckled and she went down. Absolutely. And another one, if I, if I may. Uh, Zoilo, what's next? Uh, is uh, 125 your home? Are you going to reevaluate your weight class? 125 is my home. Um, not taking anything away from Maya. She won that fight. She's a better woman tonight. Um, the physical part of this sport has never been a problem for me. The mental aspect of it, just recently, these last couple of fights, has been a battle. So I'm going to have to go back home, um, talk to my coaches, and try to figure something out because that fighter that you saw tonight, that wasn't me at all. And um, it's just, it, it was weird. But I'm going to stay at 25. That's where I want to be, and I'm going to this question's for Shannon. 
Um, after the commanding performance of Rose Nama Yunus, what do you see next for? Oh, she's a sassy one. <laughs> <laughs> she for sure is. You know, I mean, I'm just going to get her back on to the course. You know, she fought a new opponent and up the ante. You know, that's the way we look at it. Is each time they win, you know, we got to up it a little bit anyway. So, yeah, we're delighted to have her on the course. Uh, this question is for Jennifer. Jennifer, this is Ronico uh, from the Zoom Roundup. You faced a very tough opponent in, uh, in fighting with the Frosto and used the clinch very effectively. Was that something that you planned to do going in? expect to see uh, you know other uh, other venues uh, maybe possibly other states you know even other countries for Invicta in the future oh definitely I mean you know uh, moving the show around and you know going to international is important to us uh, you know the biggest deal right now is still building that foundation and building the brand up so Kansas City is our home but we're not always you know we will definitely travel so. and that dream location to have an event hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation spot. <laughs> there you go. Somewhere nice and warm. Lots of water. There you are. That's like, there you go. Any other questions? 